hi everyone um, I'll continue on the lesson review 5 uh, this is video so this is video 3 uh, so we had uh, this question and uh, so it says like um, I have the yellow part which is uh, I know I three oranges gives me one over three cups a uh, cup of uh, juice and then now I want to know if I need eight cup of juice so um how many bags do i need and so i said bags i didn't say how many oranges so it, it means i need to know uh, what is relationship between bag and the number of oranges and i see the relationship between bags and number of oranges is uh, 24 oranges gives me is are in one bag okay so now i would say uh, again i need a proportion i need um, two uh, ratios the two ratios must be equal okay so i can say three oranges the same as uh, the, the other one is one over three so gives me one over three cups the first ratio doesn't matter which one up which one down the other one yes so it says if i need eight cups so cups and cups are both of them are down then how many excess how, how many uh, so how many number of oranges Okay, so how many number of oranges? Okay, so then you can say it is 24, do this and do this. So it's x over 3 and then I want to I want to remove 1 over 3 beside x because it's divided. I multiply both sides with 3. Okay, so 3 is here. It's multiple. I do multiple with this and then I can continue to show you this way. So 24 times 3 and x over time, sorry, x over 3 times 3 and then 3 and 3 cancel and then x is 72. Okay, but this is, this, this is 72 oranges and it didn't answer, it didn't answer my um, question because I said how many bags. Okay, now I go back and see one bag has 24 oranges. Okay, so I can have another proportion, another proportion, one condition, two situations. What is situation one? Situation one is one bag has 24 oranges. So now how many bags do I have in 72 oranges, when I have 72 oranges? And X is 72 times one, sorry. It's 24x equals 72. So x is 72 divided by 24, which is 3. So 3 bags. Okay? So I can write uh, 3 bags here. When I have word problems, I need units. I need uh, a sentence. So I can say if I need, if I need, or I can say if, uh, three oranges yeah if three oranges gives one over three cups and each bag has 24 oranges in order to make Eight cups, oops, cups of or uh, cups of juice. I need, oops, three bags. Okay, and that's uh, just my conclusion sentence. It's informative enough that I understand what was what was inside the question. That's beautiful. Okay. I'm sure you come up with uh, just more. And better conclusions uh, here okay now practice so practice are questions for a student but I do them so solve for unknown here so if X is to 6 2 is to 15 what is X okay so cross multiplication 15 X oh I'm sorry again something happened and I don't know how to get out of this Okay. 
Oops. I'll go back. Oops. Let me see. Oh, perfect. Okay, so I can say 15x is 20 times 6. Okay, because you mix it with, so I just do this. Okay, so then what is x? Okay, so you do this, you do this, and then you divide both sides with the number beside uh, x, which is this. Okay, what is the answer? Can I simplify? Yes, I can simplify uh, 5 with 5, so it's 4 and 3, and I can, oops, this, and this is 8, x is 8. Okay? A foot, okay, so a 8 foot light pole casts 14 foot shadow find the height of a nearby tree that is casting a 56 foot shadow okay so see i have a for example there is a sun here for example okay of course there is okay so and um, i can say this is the situation okay so i have for example when i have eight foot Uh, light pole I have 14 foot shadow how about if I have a uh, tree okay if I have a tree here for example for example I can make it more beautiful this way okay so if I know the shadow is longer, so it's 56 feet. Okay? So here I do have this. Okay? And so look at this. Here I can show you I have the same condition, two different situations. See, my condition is the same. I have sun, I have that at the same time, at in the same place, but one of them is 8 foot. And it gives 14 foot shadow. And one of them is something I don't know. It gives 56 foot. And I want to know what? They are proportion because I have I am in the same condition. So 8 over 14 equal. 8 is for the pole. So the shadow is down. So I have to keep shadow down here. So for the first ratio, doesn't matter. Maybe I want to write 14 over 8. But then I have to write 56 over x. So I put x here. Then I do cross multiplication. This times this equal this. Then I divide both sides with the number beside x. Because I want to see x alone. Okay. Or I can say I divide both sides. Yeah. So just with 14. Okay. So x is 8 times 56. Divided by 14. Can I cancel? This and this. Yes, 4. Can I cancel? Uh, oh, this this one I have to say uh, 7. Oh, oops. I can change. And then here. 8. And then I can say the answer is 32. 32 feet. Okay? I have no space, but I have to be able to write the sentence. So the sentence must be if 8 foot light pole casts 14 foot, then when I see 56 foot shadow, it means the tree is 32 three, two foot, for example, foot. Okay? Do I have a space to write it here maybe? Yes. So I can say um, 8, 14 and then 56. Okay. So if 8 foot pole makes 14 foot shadow 
10 oops 10 we have 10 if we have 56 foot shadow of a tree the tree is 32 foot tall okay so or just 32 foot doesn't matter okay so now I can uh, just make it uh, this and I can maybe just show that after this one I can do this okay and I can make a line here okay so now I do this question use proportion to find the unknown side okay here we need information that these two um, triangle are in relationship like they are just maybe um, so the ratio of the sides are the same okay so here we can accept see it says in the pair of similar similar figures so maybe you know you have to know what is similar in geometry what does this mean means there's relationship uh, between each side so if you do okay here if you do five oops over two is like x over 10 see i said five first which is this one so i have to do this one uh, on the other side top and then i did this and then i did this okay so the relationship is a similar figure so means the relationship between sides um, are the same okay so x is 2x is 50 and x is 2x divided by 2 is 50 divided by 2 so then x is 25 because i want to see x alone so i divide but if i see x divided i multiply okay so we will see more examples proportion is something that you use for the whole um just the whole time that you are working in math solve for unknown x to 6 is 7 to this okay so x over this is 42 6 times 7 oops so x is 7 oops so it's this 42 okay here i have division so i have to multiply both sides right so here i multiply see i do three times x over three three times 42 so x is 126 okay how about here solve for unknown so 0 0.2 oops 0 0.2 to over oops 0 0.2 over 6 1.7 over sorry 0 0.2 over uh, yeah 6 is 1.7 over x so 0 0.2 x is 1.7 times 6 okay and then i do 0 0.2 x divided by 0 0.2 which is 1.76 oopsie yeah oops divided by 0 0.2 and then what is x x is so 1.7 times 6 divided by 0 0.2 which is 51 okay so a computer server transmits so let me see oh here word problems start i have one two three four five and six okay seven good okay
Let me see. Yeah. A computer server transmits 10 web requests in 2 seconds over the net. How many requests can the computer server? So it's the same computer server. So it's the same condition. Two different situations. In one minute. Remember, one of them second, one of them minute. But number of requests, the same. Both of them number of requests. Okay? So remember, one minute is... So you have to change. See, you have 10 in two seconds. You would say, okay, how many in one second, for example. You don't, you don't recognize, you don't pay attention that you have one of them minute, one of them second. Then you say answer is five. It's wrong. This is wrong. Okay, one of them is 10 web request and the other one is two seconds. So it's x over 60 seconds because one minute is 60 seconds. So now I can change. So it's 600 equal 2x. So now I have 600 divided by 2 is 2x divided by 2 and then x is 300. But let me see. Yes, done. So x is 300. So I don't need to do any change because it's 300 a web request. Okay, so I can write a sentence. If the computer server transmits 10 web requests in two seconds, it will transmit 300 web request in one minute and all the condition must be the same because we know in real situation something can go wrong and we don't meet that that we, we think okay but it's almost okay so we we believe and we expect that how about here if a box of 250 screw oops cost this much how much how, how much would the cost of 400 cost okay so this is the first ratio the same condition two different situation first ratio second ratio I need a proportion. I need a ratio for the first one. Okay, so 250 screws is $349. How much? 400. You have to see which one up, which one down. For the first one, doesn't matter. For the second, must be the same. If I have a screw up, I have to have a screw up for the second one. So it is 250x is 400 times 3.49. So x is 400 times 3.49 divided by 250. I divide, I divide both sides with 250. Or I can say it's 250x divided by 250 equal 400. 349 divided by 250 so x is 400 times 3.49 divided by 250 oops 400 times 3.49 divided by 250 yeah so which is 5.584 so when i have money I have to do two decimal so I underline that check that and in future you will learn more about rounding but because it's four I don't move I don't round up so I keep it this way so again I need a sentence to say if 250 screw cost this if 250 screws cost 
Okay, to make orange juice, or maybe I need to be much so more careful. Okay, to make orange juice from a fr from frozen concentrate, you use concentrate and water in this ratio. Remember, so this is the first ratio, the first information. How much concentrate and how much water do you need? to make one liter of orange juice? That's a very, very good question. Okay? So, to make orange juice from frozen, you use concentrate and water in this. Uh, so it means I use, uh, I think I use one concentrate and then I use three water. What if I use one cup, three cups of water? If I use one a liter, three liters. So it's a ratio. The ratio doesn't have any units. So that, that's a ratio between them. So whatever, one, whatever, three. So one, whatever unit, three, whatever unit. Okay. But you say one concentrate over three water. Concentrate water. Then it says, uh, how much concentrate, how much water if you want one liter? Pay attention here. You don't say X over one. No. Remember, here I have concentrate and water. But here, uh, so the first one I have part and part. Here I have total. Okay, so I need to do change. Doesn't work this way. Okay, so what should I do then? One concentrate over one plus three. Because I'm talking about total. Equal x over one. Perfect. I can find the answer now. Liter. Okay, so... 1 over 4, x over 1. So it is 1 equal 4x, and x is 1 over 4. So x is 1, so it's 0 point, 0 0.25 liter. How about water? How about water? So now I can do for water. Okay, so one water over one plus three. Remember, one liter is for both of them. So X over one liter. Uh, oh, sorry, I said three water. Yeah, yeah, so you have to do three here. I'm sorry. So it is three over four is X over one. Uh, so it's three X. No, sorry. 4x is 3 and x is 3 divided by 4 liter which is 0 0.75 liter so if i divide to four parts three parts is for water and one part is for concentrate but remember when i want to write the proportion i have to pay attention here i have to add them because it's total. Okay? So here I can write if the ratio between concentrate and water is 1, 2, 3 in order to make one liter of 
juice. For orange juice, we need 0 0.25 liter concentrate and and 0 0.75 water. Okay. How about next? Next question. Yeah. For a new motorbike, the recommendation ratio of gas to oil is 25 to 1. Okay, remember. These are very good questions. Gas to oil is like 25 to 1. How much gas and how much oil are needed to fill this? Remember, this is the same question. I have total. Okay. That's a very good question. So, how much gas, how much oil? So, I keep this in my mind then. But, I'm talking about, for example, now I want to know gas. So 25 gas over 1 plus 25. Because I said 13 total. So how much over 13 liter? So it is, maybe I write it smaller. Um, so. Okay, so 25 over 1 plus 25 because I need to total that's important equal um, x over 13 and then right yes and then it is 25 times 13 and 26 x so then it is 25 13 divided by 26 is x maybe i do this x here okay don't multiply because you can simplify okay so don't make it hard so 50 right so um let me see i made a mistake somewhere so 25 to 26 i have to add x over 13 liter oops i need to do two here i'm sorry Yes, so it's 25. Okay, so 12.5. So 12.5 liter. Okay. How much is for the other one? How much is for the other one? I have two choices. I can say... I can say 25. So I want you to pay attention here. So this is for gas. Okay. I can say 1 over 1 plus 25, how much over 13? And then you say 26x, 13, and then you say x is, oops, x is 13 divided by 26, which is half. So half oil, it's half liter. half liter okay that's one way and that's correct totally if you add them 12.5 and 0 0.5 is 13 but my recommendation 
maybe you have approximate answer here and you round for example here you didn't here it didn't happen but maybe yes but they, if you if you find this answer using the proportion then if you add them because you round them if you add them maybe it's a little bit more than 13 or less than 13 because we find them decimal number and then we round and then okay so this is one way and that's correct for this question because here you didn't round but if yes you can find when you have two option or even you have three options you have four options i mean four parts three parts for the last part this is second one is the last part for the last part you can find using subtraction okay so i have 30 liter minus 12.5 liter so this is total and this is gas so then this half a liter is oil and yes both of them correct then you can write a sentence in order to make this 13 liter tank in a motorbike when i have this ratio i need this and i need that i need 12.5 liter gas and i need half a liter oil okay how about this question that's a very good question so to make an environmentally safe safe furnish polish you can combine lemon oil and mineral oil yeah for example many times we hear that chemical is not good for body okay so we want to make something uh, for, for body and even for environment so they are not so we like to make something environmentally friendly or even good for body so when you just inhale exhale okay so you do it with lemon oil mineral oil and mix them but we need to know which ratio okay so i have lemon oil and mineral oil oops three to two hundred am i right yes by volume see it doesn't say three liter two hundred liter no because three cup two hundred cup three liter two hundred liter those things how much lemon oil do you need to make this 10.15 liter remember this is total okay so how much just lemon oil it didn't say okay so which one is lemon oil this one so i start with three then three over three plus 200 remember i have to add them because it's um total okay how much over 10.15 liter okay so now Three times ten point one five oops is two or three x and x is three times ten point one five over this okay which is I'm not sure if I'm right uh it says lemon oil yes okay so let me see three times 10.15 divided by 203 which is zero point one five so it is 0 0.15 liter okay 0 0.15 liter yes correct but remember it says how many milliliter but and i didn't teach you how to go from liter to milliliter so right now i can tell you if you have this in order to change it to milliliter you multiply with thousand okay but later on i show you why okay so this is 150 milliliter okay so 
So liter and liter cancel, and that's the answer. And you can write the answer. But so you have to pay attention. Which one I am talking about? Lemon oil. What is the ratio? Three to two hundred. Which one is lemon oil? Which one is mineral oil? Yes, three is lemon oil. So then I say, how many lemon oil? How, how much lemon oil? So I start with three. In denominator, the most important part is here. This is total because this is total. So I have to add them. Then I find the answer and then it says, change it to milliliter. I can change it. And then I can write the sentence. Okay. Oops. So I can say we need 150 milliliter of lemon oil to make this environmentally safe furniture polish, safe furniture polish with this ratio. With this ratio between lemon oil, oil and mineral oil. Okay. So this question is very long, so let me see. Uh, okay, so I finish here and then I continue after. Thank you.